Did you know that 49% of users uninstall an app they've downloaded within the first 24 hours? Fast forward a week and only 29% of users are still active. Pretty discouraging, right? But don't worry, there is a powerful weapon in your arsenal to combat this churn, in-app messages. When done right, these messages can boost your app's user engagement and retention, while also slashing your uninstall rate. Hey, I'm Zoe, and in this video, I'll show you five creative ways to use in-app messages to fight off churn. In-app messages are hyper-personalized notifications that are sent to users while they're using your mobile app. Did you know that users who receive in-app messages have engagement rates that are 131% higher than those who don't? That's right. In-app messages can significantly boost engagement by interacting with users throughout their customer journey, helping them navigate your app and discover its value. So let's dive into those five creative ways you can use in-app messages to reduce churn. First step is using personalized onboarding messages. The first few days after a user installs your app are critical. The average app loses almost 60% of its users within the first three days after install, so you need to engage your users from day one. Use in-app messages to personalize the onboarding experience and help users to understand your app's value to them as quickly as possible. Let's dive into five ways you can do this. One, send a personalized welcome message and introduce your app briefly. Two, use in-app messages to ask the user relevant questions so you can tailor their onboarding journey, but don't overload them with requests for information. Three, use a mix of media such as text, images, and videos to get across key information like instructions, tips, and tutorials that will help users get the most out of your app. Four, Keep your in-app messages value-driven and brief. And lastly, use insights from your user's past activity to personalize subsequent messages. Say your user has already completed a task. Send them a message congratulating them and offering suggestions about what to do next. Take education app Duolingo. During their onboarding experience, they introduce their mascot, who asks the user relevant questions about their skill level and motivations, and then sets them a language exercise. This allows the app to personalize the user's onward learning experience. It's fun and gamified from the start, while also showing the user exactly how the app will work. Second tactic is using in-app messages to offer personalized recommendations, such as product suggestions, new feature or content recommendations, or a nudge about an abandoned cart. Apps that use this approach have a user retention rate of 61% to 74% in the first 28 days, way above the average. Why? Users want to feel valued. To get started, you need to segment your users based on criteria like their device type, location, purchase history, or level of engagement. Then personalize your in-app messages with your user's name or location and offer them recommendations based on their past behavior. Take Amazon. They offer product recommendations based on users browsing and purchase history. They even have a section called Recommended For You in their app where users can easily discover relevant products. To make the most of in-app recommendations, it's important to test the timing, frequency, and content with your users to see what resonates best. You'll also want to set up measurement and analytics tools to measure their effectiveness. By analyzing what's working and optimizing your approach, you can continuously improve engagement rates and reduce churn. Third, a powerful tactic is to strategically offer promos and rewards. In-app messages that offer relevant and timely rewards and promotions can significantly boost user engagement. For instance, a mobile game can offer relevant trophies as rewards. And if your app users are shoppers, you could offer a free gift to users who make a purchase based on their shopping history. Look at Dunkin' Donuts. They offer a customer loyalty rewards program with things like coupons, stores near you information, or menu and nutrition tables, depending on how the user engages with the app. Make sure your messages are eye-catching and time them for relevant strategic points within the user journey. Clearly highlight how each promo and reward will benefit the individual user and make it easy for them to redeem the rewards in the app and remember to keep testing to see what's driving the best results. 
Tactic number four is offering proactive support. In-app messages are your direct line to a customer, so use them to preempt poor user feedback and find out why customers are dissatisfied or considering uninstalling your app. Then you can fix the issue. Some top tips? Use in-app surveys to get answers directly from your users. Offer tips and advice on products while users are in the middle of a particular experience. If you have the bandwidth, use a chatbot to offer users real-time customer support and information. And use your analytics to understand where users are jumping off. Maybe a particular process took too long, or you're spamming them with messages and at the wrong times. Remember, at this point, it's all about being proactive and spotting and addressing the issues before they lead to an uninstall. Let's talk about our fifth and final tactic for today, using in-app notifications to keep users informed and up to date. This helps users feel like the app understands their needs, which leads to greater retention. You might want to send out product tips and reminders when a user first logs in so it's not disrupting their in-app experience. Promote things like new features with in-app messages, showing users what the feature is and how to activate it. It's the best way to grab users' attention while they're in the right place, even if they don't bite straight away. So there you have it, five creative ways you can use in-app messages to prevent users from churning. If you've got questions about today's video, add them to the comments below. In the meantime, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel as we have more videos just like this, all created to help you drive growth. Thanks for watching and see you next time.